Okay, so we are still in differential equations, and we are now about to do variation of parameters. Okay. Okay, all right. So variation of parameters. Variation of parameters is a method for solving inhomogeneous li linear differential equations. So with this thing on the right not being zero. In principle, the term without y not being zero. In principle, we can use it to solve nth order dif differential equations, but the calculations become very messy. So we will restrict our attention to second order problems. Okay, so that's problems where you have the highest derivative is the second derivative. From the theory we have developed earlier, we know that the general solution to this equation can be written as particular solution plus a linear combination of the two linearly independent homogeneous solutions. So yp particular solution to the inhomogeneous equation, not inhomogeneous, inhomogeneous, inhomogeneous equation, and a y1 alpha y1 plus beta y2 is the solution to the associated homogeneous equation. Variation of parameters allows us to determine yp from y1 and y2. Okay. So all the details. The first step in the variation of parameters is to make the assumption that the particular solution to the inhomogeneous equation has the form yp equals v1y1 plus v2y2, where v1 and v2 are functions of x. Uh, this, this is impossible because these people were not alive in the 1600s, but that's standard form maths for things to be credited to the wrong people or whatever. History is a mess. Okay, never mind who came up with it. That's not important. It's motivated by perturbation theory. Sim whatever that is. Put simply, we are assuming that if the homogeneous equation changes slightly by the introduction of the function f of t, then the solution changes slightly. Uh, so it's like a linear combination of the homogeneous solutions, but the linear things are now not scalars, but functions. Yes, yeah, so it's a linear combination alpha y1 plus beta y2. We have a solution v1 of x, y1 plus v2 of x, y2. What remains is to determine the unknown functions v1 and v2. Since we have two unknown functions that must be determined, we will need two equations. The first equation is the obvious one. Um, the proposed solution v1 of x, y1 plus y2 of x, y2 must satisfy the differential equation. Okay, so you just sub this thing into the different differential equation. Okay, so... We don't know. Oh. The differential equation is is this, right? Okay. So what will that be when you do that? Never mind. But the set we'll see, maybe we'll see just now. The second equation we use is v1 dash y1 plus v2 dash y2 equals zero. Okay. The second equation is chosen because it makes the n a number of necessary algebraic manipulations significantly simpler. Specifically, the derivative y dash p. We're just leaving out the, the of x from v1 and v2, but they're still really there. v1 and v2 are still functions of x, just like y1 and y1 dash just are still functions of x. So the derivative is now y dash p. Oh, let's check that. Okay, so first of all, we're making, we're making yp equal to v1 y1 to v1 y1 plus v2, y2. Then we are adding in the assumption that v1 dash y1 plus v2 dash y2 equals 0. OK. Then we're calculating yp dash. yp dash. OK, so you've got to use the product rule of each of these two terms on v1, y1, and v2, y2. So you're going to get v1 dash y1 plus v1 y1 dash plus v2 dash y2 plus v2 y2 dash and now we have that v1 y1 v1 dash y1 plus v2 dash y2 v2 dash y2 is zero that's the assumption so then this thing those two terms go away from this and we just have v1 y1 dash plus v2 y2 dash okay indeed that's that's what they have and then the second derivative will be the derivative of that. So second derivative will be v1 dash y1 dash plus uh, 
and I've got using the product rule, of course. So I'm going to have v1, y1, dash, dash, plus v2, dash, y2, dash, plus v2, y2, dash, dash. Okay. And that's indeed what they have there. Now, substitution into differential equation gives this whole mess. Okay. Yeah, so it's this differential equation was a2 times... Now, the solution is, we're looking at the particular solution, so here we'll have y particular dash dash plus a1 y particular dash plus a naught y particular. So you just sub these things you've got for yp, yp dash, uh, yp dash, dash dash into there. Okay. Then we group the terms, group the terms of v1 together. So that's this term, so we have, so the terms with A1 are this term, sorry, the terms of V1, sorry, are this term, this term, and this term. So we should have A2 Y1 dash, then we should have A1 Y1 dash, and then we should have Y1 A0, A0 Y1, yeah, okay. Then, now we're looking for the terms with V2 in them. So that will be this term, this term, and this term. Okay. Sorry. Terms of V2 in them, this term, this term, and this term. So they'll give you A2, Y2, dash, dash, and then... A1, Y2 dash. Huh? Oh, so that must be a typo there. That, that has to be A1, surely, right? Because this is A1 there. There's only one term with A1. There's only one term with A1. There's only one term with A2 and V2 in it. Okay. And then the final term must have A0, Y2. Yeah, there. Okay, so those are the three terms. Okay. And then finally, we group together all the terms with... Um, no, just leftover terms. So which terms didn't we use? We used the terms with V1 in terms of V2. So you want the terms now that don't have V1 or V2 in them. So this one doesn't have V1 or V2. It's got V1 dash. That one's got V2 dash. Everything else has V1 or V2 in it. So you get those two terms left over. A2 v1 dash, y1 dash, and a2, v2 dash, y2 dash. Cool. Okay, so that's right. Well, sorry, with the correction, which I've now taken away accidentally, this correction that that is a 1, not a 2. This is correct. Okay. Now it says that two sets of terms are 0, since y1 and y2 are solutions to the homogeneous differential equation. Uh, oh, okay. So y1 and y2 are solutions to the homogeneous differential equation. And what's the homogeneous differential equation? It's the ordinary equation, the original equation, so a2 times second derivative plus a1 times first derivative plus a0 times the function equals 0. That's the homogeneous equation. But now, this is exactly that, just with the solution y1, which is a solution to the home, which we assumed is a solution to the homogeneous equation, so it's zero. Same for this with y2, so those are both zero. So we end up just with this bit equals f. Now you can divide through by a2. Well, we know a2 is not zero, of course, because uh, this is a second order differential equation, so the coefficient in front of the second derivative must be something non zero. So divide through by a2, and you get this equation. Okay. Okay, so we have now we have these two equations. This one we just derived, and this one we assumed. So we, we, we assumed this equation, and then we took the particular solution, plugged it into the, took the particular, we assumed this, well, we, sorry, we assumed that this is true. Sorry, wait, here we go. We assumed that the solution, we assumed that the particular solution had this form, okay? Uh, sort of a linear combination of homogeneous solutions, but where the, where the coefficients are not scalars, are not real numbers, but are functions. We further assumed this condition, 
because that made finding the derivatives easier, then we use those derivatives, sub them into the actual equation, the actual differential equation, and got this second condition. So we have these two conditions, and you can write them into one equation because you have in both you have v1, you have v1 dash, v2 dash, and you have v1 dash, v2 dash. Oh, here's a problem. This is not y1 there, that should be y1 dash, right? That should be y1 dash. Okay, of course, because it come, it's coming from... It's coming from here, from... It's coming from this term and this term, which have, which have y1 dash and y2 dash, yes. Okay. So, in this equation we have v1 dash, we have v1 dash in, those, in both equations, like we have the coefficients being v1 dash and v2 dash, but the y1 and y2 are different, so we can make a matrix out of the y1, because here we have y1, here we have y1 dash, we can make a matrix out of the y1, y1 dash, the coefficients then be the vector, and then this is the right, a vector on the right-hand side. So this puts the two equations into one. You see, right, the top line is the first equation, y1 times v1 dash plus y2 times v2 dash equals zero. The second equation is y1 dash times v1 dash, y2 dash times v2 dash equals that. Okay. So then what we would do is we presumably we would solve this equation for v1 dash and v2, v1 dash and v2 dash, then we'd, that would allow us, knowing what v1 dash and v2 dash were, we could then work out what v1 and v2 were, and that's, that would give us a particular solution. Then with a particular solution, we'd be able to add it to the homogeneous solutions to get the general solution. Okay, so that would be the method, that's variation of parameters. You don't really need to remember all of this because now we're going to have look at the short version, which just which is just like okay, here's the actual method you follow to 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 to, to solve such a question.